The Western Conference playoff race is a tight one as the regular season winds down. And when the Clippers visited the Grizzlies Saturday night in Memphis, it was a potential battle for home court in what might be a first round playoff matchup. The Clippers are looking for consistency as they begin their first multi-game road trip of the season. After their recent home success, they start their four game swing in San Antonio, perhaps one of the most consistent teams in the NBA. Tim Duncan and Tony Parker have played together in 771 regular season games, more than any other teammates in the NBA. And while the Clippers are welcoming seven new faces this season, they seem to gel together effortlessly, a key factor in tonight's 92-87 win over the long-tenured Spurs. The field of 68 is down to the final four. Kentucky, Kansas, Ohio State, and Louisville will all be dancing in New Orleans as they make the final push to cut down the nets as this year's national champion. Now you mentioned you feed off other people's energy, but it seemed like your teammates were feeding off your energy tonight as well. You got in for some good minutes, had some solid energy out there, and we saw some turry off twirls going on. Yeah, yeah, you know, just trying to dust off the, uh, the rust a little bit, you know? It's good to be out there and just... Clippers with a game two win, 93-91. Jamal, this was a close one tonight, but what does it mean to open up a 2 nothing series lead right here? Well, uh, we played all season to get home court, you know, we protect our home court, so now we have two games out there and we have taken one at a time, but we sure they have a lot of energy and put their best foot forward, but we will as well. You started off, you made your first six shots. You were on fire in that first half especially. What was clicking for you? I just wanted to be aggressive, set the tone offensively. Uh, I know Bledsoe and Chauncey and Chris did a, lot, a good job in the first game, you know, being aggressive, and I just wanted to set the tone and give them a little taste of something different. Let's welcome in the third member of our broadcast crew, Madeline Burke. Madeline? Hey guys, you know, it's actually been about 80 years. We've talked about this since these two teams have played in football. Last time these two teams played, it was 1932, and Loyola came up with a 27 0 victory over then Harvard, a military school. Now, you said at one point that this is probably the best offense in college football you've seen in your coaching career, and you've been a coach for quite some time. What is it about this offense? Well, I think they're really special. I think they're very well coached. It starts to head. 22 points, 11 assists, 9 steals. Were you aware of how close you were with that triple double? Uh, yes, uh, Chris, you know, my teammates was telling me uh, I need one more. Uh, Your very first All-Star MVP, how does it feel to get that award? It's pretty cool, pretty cool, uh, unbelievable feeling. Um, the game was fun, at the end of the day we won, and uh, this is something that I, I've never had. Were you nervous at all at the beginning? I was nervous walking out of my hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it, ain't, it didn't go away until, you know, I got up to dunk. Your first dunk contest in the books. How good did that feel to, to kind of have that experience under your belt? I feel great. It was, you know, on a great weekend. Uh, just laid back, kind of chill, competitive. You know, every every contest uh, you want to, you be in, you want to, you know, compete and try to win. So it was just a great learning experience and a fun weekend. Opening night at Staples Center, and the Clippers come away with a 101-92 win over the Memphis Grizzlies. Lamar, you didn't waste any time. The first minute you were out there, you had your first of four blocks. How did it feel to play? Um, like a kid again. I was talking to some of the reporters earlier, you know, just before you came. And you know, it's been a long time since I played a game, a game that counted. So I mean, just to, to go out there and to get out there and you know feed off my teammates and feed off the crowd felt good. It seemed like there was a lot of adrenaline, especially at the beginning of the game. How was the energy of this team to start? I mean, it was great. It was great. I mean, the, the, the crowd does an amazing job at getting us into it. Before we start the second quarter, let's check in with Madeline Burke on the Clippers sideline. Madeline? Thanks, Isaac. Well, one of the main points Vinny has been making in the huddles is get the rebound and run it back. Rebounding has been a problem for this team the last couple of games, but DeAndre Jordan told me earlier there's so much focus on getting back on the fast break. Guys are forgetting they have to get the ball first. Now let's send it down the field to Madeline Burke for an update about a key player for Notre Dame. Thanks, Josh. Well, Notre Dame running back Kalfani Muhammad rushed for 218 yards and four touchdowns last year against Birmingham. But in the first game of this season, he suffered a rib injury against Sarah. Kept him out last week. I'm told he will play tonight. Whether or not he'll start is up to coach. But on the other side, Birmingham has not won this matchup since 2007. Coach Jim Rose says win, lose, or draw, this is a good way to gauge where his team is. Guys?
Thank you, Madeline. And Looking ahead at the schedule you guys have coming up, how do you maintain this level of success? Um, we just have to practice hard. Um, we have to stay focused throughout the week. As one of the veteran voices in this locker room, what, is, what does this team need to do to get back on track? You know, you know, everybody always say harder, harder, but, you know, it's, it's smarter, harder, you know, continue to trust. Obviously, All-Star is a lot of fun. One of the things that's kind of cool, I know you're a big shoe guy. The shoes I see these guys out here with are, are kind of cool. What, have you seen any favorites? Yeah, I like Blake Griffin shoes. What's going on with your shoes there, Mr. Griffin? Uh, I don't know. Oh, the camera can't see them. Uh, it's all right. Um, basically, the, the theme is uh, outer space, you know, since we're being, you know, I got the... the... Quick, and then your shoes will come in the frame. Just... Hold on, ready? <laughs> Yeah, you can see him. You got the new haircut, it looks like, for yeah. the ladies? It's called the bro Brolet. Yeah. What's a bro -lit? Um, It's like a mullet, mm -hmm. but bro -lit. <laughs> Um, It's business in the front and party on the sides. And it's also a party in the back. Right there. So just get ready for a lot of that this year. The bro -lit. The bro -lit. How do you spell it? B-R-O-L-E-T? Double L. Double L? E-T. E-T. One T. Yeah, one T. Okay, no E or at the end or anything? Nah. Yeah, it, it's an E at the end. It's silent. Okay. And you have to put an accent mark over it. <laughs> yeah. So, again, Brolet. B-R-O-L-L-E-T-E. Now, Portland's got a really interesting rookie, Damian Lillard. What mm -hmm. is your perception of him coming into the league so far? He's been really good. Uh, DeAndre's messing with me. DeAndre's messing with me, but uh, Damian Lillard's... <laughs> it wouldn't be an LAC TV yeah, interview right. if it wasn't for the chiming in of your teammates, right? Yeah, but Damian... I'm sorry, those guys. But Damian Lillard <laughs> made us a better team so far. Last couple of games, you've had some pretty big blocks and some pretty good scores. Yo, sports. where's the bathroom at? What? Uh, <laughs> what's, what's... Are you getting comfortable right now? Yeah, uh, my yeah. teammates are doing a great job of making me comfortable. Um, yeah, we are! Playing alongside Blake, DJ, uh, one of the guys oh, like that, um, uh, give us just the focus, the detail, and I'm comfortable going after block shots and uh, you know playing within the system. Seems like they're getting they're getting pretty comfortable around here too, though, right? Yeah, they sure are. Oh. All of them. DJ, Blake, my man Trey right here. Awesome. Well, thanks, Ryan. With Ryan Hollins, I'm Madeline Brown, oh. watching LAC TV. <laughs> <laughs> LAC TV, you are watching LAC TV with Madeline Burke and Ronnie Turia. Hi, this is Madeline Burke with LAC TV. No? Look at all. Boom, 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 boom. Team one, how did you feel about that? You know, I felt.